Today I want to show you how to swap out the lens of a Spectrum full face mask. Now this mask has a clear lens in it and I'm going to swap it out for the tinted lens. Now when you buy the lens it comes with the instructions. Here you can see the instructions. Uh, follow the instructions. They're fairly self-explanatory. They're good. They, they cover every point. But I want to show you here in the video. So what you need is, the, uh, is a, a multi-driver, screwdriver. Now the uh, this one's available from OTS. You can get any a multi driver from any um, uh, hardware store. So, but I'll show you what we're going to do with this. Now I'm going to remove the handle. I'm not even going to use the handle. And on the opposite side, though, oh, there's two ends. There's a small side and a larger side. I'm going to pull the larger bit out, and I'm going to use this as a tool. I'll show you what we do with this here in just a minute. Now. The reason why I take the handle off is this is going to allow me to spin things, uh, to spin the screws in and, uh, and out faster than with the handle. Uh, now, the lens is held in place by a pair of screws. There's a, a screw on this side, on the right, and on the left, uh, diver's right, diver's left. And there's also a small nut on the bottom down here. Now, when we, when we remove this, um, we want to be careful not to lose this nut. Now, this mask was uh, or is set up with an ear mic microphone assembly. I want to go ahead and, and remove the wire from the frame. So the wire of the ear microphone assembly goes in a, in a channel here and you'll see where it's, it's uh, sort of hooked in to this little, little hook or little slot right there. Now I'm going to peel the, uh, the cable out and take it out. Now the other side there's another one of those little notches. I'm going to pop it out of that notch and I'm just going to flex it back to the rear. Now Again, as I mentioned earlier, there's a screw that holds into this into place and then nut down at the bottom. Now I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to place my finger underneath or right below that little nut there. And I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm going to unscrew the screw here. Now you can tell when it clears the threads and there it's cleared the threads. And I'm going to drop the, the screw out. I'm going to set it over here where it's safe. Don't want that, that to roll off. Now, the reason why, again, we put our finger underneath the, the uh, at the bottom of the frame is the little nut's going to pop out. And there's the little nut. You want to be real careful not to lose these. So I'm going to put it down here again with the, with the screw. Now, the other side, we're going to do, we're going to repeat the, the uh, same procedure with the other side. I'm going to put my thumb under there. I'm going to twist it around here a little bit. It's a little difficult trying to stay underneath the camera. There we go. Get it loose. Unscrew it until you feel that it's, it's cleared the threads. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drop the screw out. Screw out. Again, we're going to set it down. And then on the other side, we're going to hear the little nut is. Set it down. Now, once we get this off, we can, take, we can remove the, pot, the top lens and the bottom lens, or the, bottom, or the frame, I'm sorry, and the top frame. There we go. And we're going to set these off to the side. Now, while we, uh, while we have this apart, we're going to also inspect things. We want to inspect the lens. The, this lens, we're going to be replacing it, so it's not too concerned about that. We want to make sure it's in good shape. But we want to clean the channel out where the lens came from. So make sure that this inspect it for any damage and, and clean any debris out. Now is not a bad time to wash the, uh, uh, the skirt as well because you can get into nooks and crannies that you wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. Now the lens has, uh, has a little cover on this. Now this is when you purchase it, it comes with a little uh, urethane uh, sheet on both sides. You want to take the little tab here. I'm going to leave this in place. Um, I'm just going to bend the tab back and fold that over so that it stays out of the way. And the same thing with the other side here. Bend it back and fold it down so it stays out of the way. The OTS logo comes goes to the outside. Now, this is, um, you want to be kind of careful here. You want to make sure that when you put the lens in the skirt, and this isn't, I wouldn't say it's the most difficult part, kind of hard to do underneath the camera here. But we're going to work this around, and you want to make sure that it's nice and even um, and square the, the lens up in the skirt itself. So make sure it's nice and, nice and even and centered. I'm going to pet that around a little bit just to, to get it lined up properly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this. I'm going to make sure that this is properly positioned around the sides here to make sure that the skirt's there. I'm going to pick up the bottom part, of the bottom frame. Now with the bottom frame, 
again, if it needs if it needs clean, clean these out. There's a little screw inserts there. You want to clean those out if they need to be. Uh, clean the rest of it. Now, I want to bring this in. As I bring this in, I'm basically going to displace my thumb. I'm holding the skirt in place while I bring the frame in. And I'm going to use a frame to push my thumb out of the way. In doing so, I'm ensuring that the skirt, that the, the, the edge of the skirt here, uh, stays on the lens that we don't lose engagement of the skirt um, and, the, and the lens. Now, once we get that pressed in, use a firm, firm press on that. We're going to bring the top uh, frame in. Again, inspect it, clean this. Now, I'm going to drop this over, and I'm going to do basically the same thing. I want to push my finger out of the way as I seat the frame here. So I'm going to push it down push it down, squeeze it down into place. Give it a good squeeze before I screw it together. I want to inspect to make sure that I've got the skirt properly uh, uh, seated. Now I'm going to pick up one of the screws and drop the screw in. So there's a little washer on that. You want to make sure you don't lose that washer. So I'm going to drop that screw in. Now I'm going to pick up one of the little nuts and I'm going to place that in the bottom. And a little difficult to do underneath the camera here. Um, take my screwdriver. Now, once I get, and this is what I was mentioning, uh, we're, we're going to use this as a tool. Once I get the little nut place underneath here, I'm going to take the Phillips head end of that other bit, and I'm going to push it in there. Now, that's going to center the nut and allow me to hold those together while I seat the screw. Now, don't tighten this up. So you're just going to catch the threads. And if, as I inspect this, there we go. We can see that I've caught the threads there. If I crank this down too tight right now, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the other end. So I want to be able to have a little bit of freedom of movement on this. And I'm going to pick up the other components. I'll pick up the little nut and I'll place it in the bottom here. And I'm going to pick up the screw and insert the screw into the top on the top side. Now there's a little facet, or there are facets there, I should say, on the um, on the screw itself here, or on the in the port here where the little nut goes. I'm sorry. So it's faceted, so you don't have to get a wrench in there. So it holds the nut in place. Now I'm going to get the, there. We go. Got the nut to where it's laying on the bottom. I'm going to take the screwdriver, the screwdriver bit again, as I showed you earlier, and I'm going to hold that in place. Now I'm going to take the screwdriver and repeat the process as we did on the other side and we're going to push it together I might need to squeeze a little bit there we go there we go so now I can take this all the way down I can take this out now I'm going to Tighten this up to the other side. Tighten it up. There, snug it up so there's no gap. No gap. I want to inspect around the edge. So I'm going to inspect around here, all the way around, all the way around and make sure that I've got proper engagement there of the, of the skirt to the lens and the visor frame. Now, the ear microphone assembly, as we had it before, I'm going to snug it up just a little bit. I'm going to insert it into that, that little hook there again. I'm going to work the, the cable get it clear of the buckle there, work the cable around. There's a little flap right here. You can see that little flap. That retains the cable there. I'm going to work it all the way around to the other side, keeping it fairly tight. I, uh, you know, you don't need to pull hard. And then I'm going to engage this on the other side. Check this, make sure that we're properly seated. Work this all the way around, and there we go. Now that's how you replace the lens of the... Uh, 
uh, spectrum full face mask. Now that was just under 10 minutes and with explanation and everything, it should only take you about seven or eight minutes to swap that out. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, look us up on the internet, oceantechnologysystems.com, and uh, you can find our contact information there. Thank you very much.